Hello, this is Lisa from Happy Stamp, and today we're going to be making this pretty butterfly card. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. You're going to need a piece of very vanilla, and I'm using the thick very vanilla for the card base. And that is eight and a half by five and a half and we are going to score that at four and a quarter okay and that can just be folded in half and then we'll use our bone folder to make sure we get a good crease. All right. And then the next piece is a piece of Pacific Point, and it measures four by five and a quarter. And then we have a piece of just the regular Whisper White, and that is three and three quarters by five. Um, let's see, this is going to be for the butterfly. And we need a piece, another piece of Pacific Point that is three by two and a half. A piece of regular Whisper White that is two and three quarters by two and a fourth. And then we just need another scrap for um, scrap for this and a scrap for the sentiment down here. All right. So first thing we can do is let's do our let's do our stamping um, and then we can get to doing most of the big shot work you're going to need another piece of um, scrap whisper white for the sentiment I don't think I brought that one in and we're going to stamp on this and let's see and then we'll need another piece for the I said that for the sentiment. Okay, so I'm going to take some old olive and some Pacific Point. And the stamp set that we're using is Watercolor Wings. And I'm going to use... All right, so we're going to use these three little dots down here. And that's going to make our DSP for behind the butterfly here and that is this piece right here that's for the butterfly and then for the butterfly let's see got a couple more blacks here I need this one this one when I think I need a little bigger block so we'll use this one all right all right so for the DSP I'm going to take the three little dots and the old olive and the Pacific point And I'm just going to randomly um, stamp around this, stamping off some, just so it looks like I cut the DSP rather than, cut a real piece of DSP rather than just a piece of paper that I'm making up. Okay, I'm going to go in with the old olive. We'll see where we go from there. Need to wipe off my little dots here. And you want to rotate them. So they're not all going the same way. All right, 
Let's put a few more blue ones in here, I guess. I think I want a green one right here. And I think that's good. I think I'm going to stop there. Well, I need those back because we will stamp our butterfly. And this part right here is going to be in the old olive. And that's going to go right in the middle. And then, I think I'm done with this, so I'll close this up. The Pacific Point is going to be the outer part of the butterfly. So I'm going to bring this down a little. And I should be using my stamp and pierce mat. All right. All right, not too bad. Not the greatest, but it's all right. All right, then I am going, before I stamp the body of the butterfly, I'm going to punch this out or run it through the big shot. Um, so. Let's see. Let's get our other piece. We need one more. And that's with the early espresso. And I'm going to get the just for you. done with our stamping here. So I'm going to bring in my big shot. I'm going to use the big shot platform first with a cutting pad and the piece of whisper white that is three and three quarters by five. I'm going to use the butterfly framelit. I think this is called mm, fluttering or something like the fluttering, something like that. That's going to go in the middle of this. Another cutting pad. Make sure that's straight because we only have a six inch platform here. And that's a six by six inch um, folder. So that's going to look like that. Now I'm going to bring in my magnetic platform and we'll put down a cutting pad first and the butterfly. I will use the layering ovals and I'm going to use this one for that one. And then the Bold butterflies. We'll get this one. All right. Get our other cutting pad here. Sorry for the shaking. And then I need to cut one more oval for the back of our sentiment. And that's with the ship stitched framelits. Get that out of there. And a piece of Pacific Point. All 
Okay, get the big shot out of the way. put a clip on here so that way I keep track of them because I know they don't go in this set so hopefully I don't lose them <laughs> all right so we can pretty much start putting our card together here but before I do that I am going to stamp on the body I just find that it's easier to stamp on the body after you've stamped the butterfly Let's see, I'm going to use the Early Espresso. And not on that one, it's on this one. I'm going to use the Big Body. These stamps need a good washing, so when I'm done here, I'm going to take them to the sink and wash them with some Dawn dish soap. And then I just set them on a lint-free, as much as a lint-free towel as you can get, and let them dry, and then they're back to their sticky. All right. There we go. All right, and then I'm just going to take this and I'm going to bend it on each side of the body there. Here is our card base. I'm going to take our piece of Pacific Point with some snail here. And that goes right on the top of our card. Then our piece of Whisper White that we embossed on. And then this one, I'm going to use uh, glue to get all in those crevices there from the embossing folder. And that goes right on top of here. Then I'm going to take my other piece of Pacific Point and the piece of DSP that we made. And that's going to go right in the middle of here. And then the butterfly is going to go on there. And so we will take, let's see what I got for dimensionals here. I have the mini ones. I'll use the mini ones. It's good size for this. My fingers are too big, so I take a paper piercer and I just poke it in the middle of the dimensional and pick it up that way. All right. And then that goes in the middle of here. Just like that. And then this can get some adhesive. And that goes right up here. And I'm just gonna kind of set it there for a second. Make sure that I have it where I want it. This can get some glue, but first let me put my image on here, and I'm going to use yes, I'm gonna use some dimensionals. I'm going to use the sides of these dimensionals so it's a little bit bigger. Okay, that goes on the white, and then that will go on the blue. here. All right, 
and now this is going to get some glue. Oh, I think I put that on the wrong side. There really isn't a right or wrong side, I can tell. Um, just from the way that the... This side. This side looks better to me. All right. Now we can put some glue on the back of there. And then on the inside, I'm going to take the littler butterfly. So let's see which one I did. I don't remember. All right, so I took this one and this one. piercing mat here and this is going to be stamped this part is going to be stamped in the old olive yes this is going to be stamped in the old olive and I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it quite so bright bold I guess and uh, that way we can uh, write over the top of it. I like it when you can do that. Okay. And then the Pacific Point with this part. Same thing. I'm going to stamp it off. See how I do here. Not too bad. All right, then I'm going to take our early espresso with a little, little body and the antennas. All right. Get the little body here. And then the antenna. And let's see, it needs to go like this. Stamp off. All right. And then our little antenna. Stamp off. Not too bad. All right, so that is it for our card. So here's the one I just made, and here is the one that I did earlier. Oh, one thing I forgot to do. I have this um, Stampin' chalk marker, and I did put some little little dots over the green just to give it a little bit more something a little more decoration all right I think that's it okay now I'm really done <laughs>
<laughs> All right, so that is it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer them. All supplies can be purchased through my online store at www.happystamp.stampinup.net. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.